Hello students I hope you all are fine Today we will start a new chapter and the name of the chapter is play with patterns This is chapter number 10 In this chapter we will read about different types of patterns Okay so let's start Tino used this block to make a sari You can see the block Tino has used this block to make the sari. Okay, so in this sari, see the Tino have arranged the block in a same way, and here also the, all the blocks are arranged in a same way. So here all the blocks are making a pattern. In the second one, you can see a bed sheet is there, and the bed sheet is made by the blocks and all the blocks are arranged in a similar way that's why we can say that the the blocks are in a same pattern now we will go to the next page here also you can see he also made this dupatta with the same block here also tino have made a dupatta with the help of the previous block here you can see the first block it is in a way but the second block is different from the first one but but the third block is same as the first one whether the fourth one is same as the second one in this way all the blocks are in a pattern here can you see how tino has made different patterns using the same block now you to make three different patterns using this block using this block you have to make three different patterns here according to your choice now we will go to the third page here also you can see yamini has used her blocks to make a few patterns help her to take this patterns forward so in the previous in the first one you can see there is only one leaf in the second one you can see there are two leaves in the third one you can see there are three leaves in the fourth one you can see there are four leaves again in the fifth one you can see there is one leaf so how, how many leaves will be in the next one yes there will be two how many leaves will be in the next one yes there will be three and how many leaves will be in the next one yes it will be four so in this way you have to draw the leaves and it will become a pattern similarly in the second one and the third one you have to carry forward the pattern now this was uh, this patterns in these three patterns we have made with different kind of figures now we will make patterns with different type of numbers and letters see the first one in the first one In the first one, it is given A B C, then D E F, then G H I. So, what will be the next one? Yes, it will be J K L. In the next one, yes, you know, in this way, you have to complete the pattern. So, in the second one, you can see it is in the first. It is written twenty eight Z. So, next one twenty seven Y. Next one twenty six. X. So next, what will be the next one? The next one will be twenty-five W. In this way, you have to carry forward the pattern. Similarly, in the third one, in the third one, what it is written? Eight sixty-four. And the next one, seven sixty-four. Next one, six sixty-four. So next one will be five sixty-four. And the very next one. Four sixty-four. In this way, you have to carry forward the pattern. Similarly, in the fourth one, in the fourth one, the first is written as nine. The second is one zero nine. The third is two zero nine. So the fourth one will be three zero nine. Next one will be 
409 in this way you have to carry forward the pattern and in the next two blocks you can use any numbers and you can make your own pattern okay students so i hope you all have understood today's work so up to the previous page uh, you should practice at home and if you find any problem you can comment back in the school website and from this page we will do in the next video stay fit stay good thank you